It's almost the holidays, and you know what that means, it's gift wrapping season. Now, if you've ever tried to give a friend, say, a soccer ball, then you know intuitively that it's impossible for the wrapping paper to completely cover the surface of the ball without creasing. Today, let's explore exactly why that is. To start out, let's shrink ourselves down and stand on a ball of Play-Doh. As long as the surface of the ball is smooth to a certain extent, we can define a normal vector to the surface attached to the point we're standing on. Now, any plane intersecting that normal vector will also intersect the surface of the Play-Doh, creating a curve. If we approximate the curve at that point with the circle, then its curvature is defined by 1 over the radius. It turns out that the curvature of this intersection is what we call the normal curvature. Now, each point defines infinitely many normal curvatures depending on which intersecting plane we take. The principal curvatures are the minimal and maximal normal curvatures, and it turns out that the directions of the planes of principal curvature are always perpendicular. Vectors in these two directions are called the principal directions, and each solution curve of the principal direction vector field is what we call a line of curvature. Let's take this ellipsoid surface as an example. Here, the pink lines are the lines of maximal curvature, and the blue lines are the lines of minimal curvature. That means that if we take any point on the surface, the two principal directions will be tangent to the pink and blue lines and perpendicular to each other. If we denote the principal curvatures at a point as k1 and k2, then the mean curvature is equal to k1 plus k2 over 2, and the Gaussian curvature is equal to the product of k1 and k2. So for example, if we're standing on a flat desk, all of the normal curvatures are 0, so the Gaussian curvature is 0. If we're standing on a spherical bowling ball, all of the normal curvatures are positive, so the Gaussian curvature is also positive. Now, let's return to the gift wrapping. It turns out that the reason why we struggle every year is because of a famous theorem in differential geometry called the Theorema Egregium, a remarkable theorem in Latin. Because the flat wrapping paper has Gaussian curvature zero, but the soccer ball has positive Gaussian curvature everywhere, it turns out that it's impossible to try to force them to be the same. A couple of other prominent consequences of this theorem is the fact that it's impossible to map out the Earth without distorting the continents, and the fact that you can't flatten out an orange peel without tearing it. Trust me, I've tried. So the next time you go to wrap a round gift, throw away the flat wrapping paper, and let's get to work on inventing curved ones.